Hello friends, or should I say howdy partners, because today I'm going to be making the famous Shadow Ranch cake. That is right. It is basically a rite of passage for Nancy Drew online creators at this point. If you're creating Nancy Drew content online, you have to make the Nancy Drew cake or else you'll be arrested and kicked out of the fandom for life. This is probably the most complex recipe that I've, well, that I'm going to be making on this channel to date. Um, it's a whole cake. This is the cake that was made for Tex's birthday in the game, so happy birthday, Tex. I'm making this in your honor. I do it all for you. This is also going to be a bit of a challenge because as we know from the game, the instructions for the Shadow Ranch cake are quite sparse. That's the whole part of the game is trying to figure out, you know, what size pan to use, how, what temperature to have the oven at, and how long to cook it for. Um, I've got to figure that out in real life, but you know, other people have figured it out before me, so surely I can do it as well. And just to make it a bit easier on myself, I am going to be referring to a cake recipe, just a basic cake recipe, so I kind of know the steps and have a better idea of what temperature to set the oven to. I've got my ingredients here. I even have marzipan for the famous marzipan flour, the iconic marzipan flour, which is really what this cake is all about, right? Without it, it would just be a regular old, actually pretty bad cake because this recipe is quite basic. Um, but the marzipan flour is what wraps it all together. Also, a moment of appreciation for this little bear here. Anyway, this video is not about the marzipan bear, it's about the Shadow Ranch cake. So let's get going. I've got my cake pan. I don't know if this is the right size, but we're gonna roll with it. Um, honestly, it'll be better content if this turns out awful, right? <laughs> no one likes content where everyone everything goes as planned. That's not what people are interested in. I want you all to know that I've already got butter on my microphone cord, so uh, good start. Now Nancy mixes all the ingredients in one big bowl, and if you've ever made a cake before, you know that is exactly how not to do it. So even though it's not going to be authentic to the game, I'm going to mix my wet ingredients, my dry ingredients separately. First, we need four cups of flour. Next, we want a tablespoon of baking powder. I think that's it for the dry ingredients because the sugar in the recipe I'm looking at goes in with the eggs, so I'll do that. Next, we beat the eggs. We want two eggs. A few eggs! Now we're going to add the sugar to the eggs. And that's two and a third cups of sugar. Which I'm pretty sure is a random amount for Interactive just landed on to make the puzzle a bit more complicated. I'm not gonna lie, y'all, this is the weirdest cake recipe I've ever seen, and I'm starting to regret deciding to use it, or at least not reading it over before I started cooking, because now I'm gonna heat the milk and the butter? Why? And then, it's, it's just too complicated, it's too complicated. I'm switching recipes right in the middle, which might be a mistake, but we're just adding some spice to this recipe. Okay, Google simple cake recipe, please. Naturally, this one has you creaming the sugar and butter together and then adding the eggs. Um, <laughs> let's see how this goes. Wait, I just realized this one doesn't have any milk. Well, <laughs> this is gonna be just the weirdest cake ever. We're just gonna just Fuck it from here. Just do whatever. It's fine. As long as it comes out with some semblance to a cake, I think we're okay. Like, that'll be a success in my book. Okay. 
add the butter in here. This is a cup of butter to my weird egg and sugar mixture. I feel like this experience is making me forget everything I thought of I knew about baking. I'm suddenly like, what's a cake? How do I make one? I'm having a baking crisis. Okay, I'm gonna add the vanilla, and then I think I'm gonna have to get a bigger bowl and then add the milk. Because <laughs> I guess I highly underestimated how much batter this was going to make. Okay, we're looking at three teaspoons of vanilla. Is this the good stuff? No, it's not the good stuff. Ugh. Good vanilla should smell delicious. It should have you huffing it until you're high off vanilla. This better be big enough, because this is the biggest bowl that I have. First, we are going to put this mess in here. It's, it's a very weird texture. I'm hoping the milk will help. Because this does not, this does not seem right. Okay, this is, um, what is it? One and two third cups of milk. Another, um, extremely random measurement. I just got milk all over the place, but I'm not going to cry about it. I am gonna go uh, about it though. cake fan. I don't think this is going to be a very aesthetically pleasing cake, but, you know, icing can cover a multitude of sins. You know, if you've committed murder, just, uh, shove some icing on the body. Frost the body with some lovely buttercream. Um, and it'll cover your sins. Look, it's the Shadow Ranch cake. The highly overexposed <laughs> Shadow Ranch cake. You, you literally... There we go. It doesn't look that bad in the sample. It's a, it's a chunky one, though. This is like the weight of a newborn baby. This is my child. <laughs> so the recipe says something like between 30 and 40 minutes. So I'm going to put it in for 30. And um, I'll check it then. And if it's not ready, we'll put it in for 10 more minutes. Godspeed. We will start making our marzipan flour while the cake bakes. That's the fun part. 
This has been many things so far, but I wouldn't say it was fun. <laughs> Honestly, one of the most stressful baking experiences I've ever had. Okay, I'm ready to start with the marzipan flour, and I've rigged up a little system where hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm doing as I do it um, with a better close-up view than what you currently see. I'm going to start cutting out the different shapes that we'll need for the flour. Nancy had to, didn't have to deal with this, they were already cut out for her. Where's Shorty when you need him? Shorty, I need you to make my marzipan shapes. They look okay, a little rough around the edges, but I think that's gonna be the whole vibe of this cake. Okay, so my timer just went off. Let's see how the cake's looking. Oh, it's it's a big boy. Oh, oh my. Oh, oh my. It smells pretty good. Okay, I think it's ready actually, because they said it should spring back when lightly touched. You probably can't see from there, but it's doing that. It looks a lot better than I expected. I was expecting this to look like the scrappiest cake you've ever seen, but it looks quite appetizing. While it's cooling, I might start putting together the flour and uh, coloring it with the food coloring. Oh, I feel like I'm in the game. I'm so immersed. I am Nancy Drew. Hope Tex appreciates my hard work. It kills me that we don't know his reaction to the cake in the game. He never says, hey, Nancy, I really liked that cake you made for me. <laughs> I really appreciated all your hard work on that. It made my birthday so special. Oh, it doesn't look quite as good as it does in the game, but then nothing does. Nothing ever will. Life will never be as great as Nancy Dream's Secret of Shadow Ranch, and we just have to accept that. Sorry to be a bit of a downer. <laughs> Okay, now I'm gonna attempt to remove the cake from the pan. We'll see how this goes. I think it's been cooling for long enough to attempt this. It's such a monster. I'm kind of scared of my own cake. I'm terrified of my own creation. Oh. It's not, it's not cooked in the middle. <laughs> oh god! Oh no, no! Oh no! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, this is very, this is very bad. I have to make a confession at this stage. I don't think we're going to make the Shadow Ranch cake. It's literally just the outside that's ready. I guess because the... Oh, I should have stuck a skewer in it, but that other recipe... Or the recipe said I didn't have to do that. They were just like, oh, and it springs back on the top. Oh, 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 it's falling to pieces. Uh, what do I do? <laughs> it's gone so cataclysmically wrong. I was optimistic when I was making my little marzipan shapes, but now I'm- oh god. <laughs> there it is! The Nancy Drew Secret of Shadow Ranch cake. I think I've done the worst job of anyone I've ever seen making the Shadow Ranch cake. Tex will be just so happy, I'm sure. <laughs> well, I think I failed that one. I'd get kicked out of the kitchen. I'd probably get fired, actually, from the ranch. Shorty would be like, this is, this is worse than an unread tomato, Nancy. This is inexcusable. 
I am ashamed of myself. <laughs> okay, well, um, yeah. I was gonna end the video by trying it. Well, maybe I'll try, try a bit of the edge. It doesn't have icing on it, but uh, it's, to be honest, it's never gonna get to that stage. I mean, it does taste like it would have been a pretty good cake. <laughs> I think it would have needed to cook for like four hours though. It's literally only the outside that's cooked. It's just a massive goopy mess. I'm really <laughs> dreading cleaning this up. Hopefully I'll reattempt this someday and do better. <laughs> I can't get over how awful it is. <laughs> oh no. And that was the Nancy Drew. Secret of Shadow Ranch. <laughs>